Alrighty, next game up here is the Browns at the Vikings. And uh, once again, the Vikings, man, I don't know what the hell is going on here. Very well done by the Browns. Defense getting it done again, only holding the Vikings to seven points. And the seven points came on their first drive. They went on a 14-play, 80-yard, seven-and-a-half-minute drive to start the game. Ends in a touchdown, and that's all they did for the entire game, folks. That's all they did. No more points. The Browns, they score a touchdown in the second quarter. They score a field goal in the second quarter. Nobody scores in the third quarter. They score one more field goal in the fourth quarter to make it a seven-point game, and that was it, folks. So great defenses by both these teams. Very well done by the Browns to really just kind of lock it down from the first drive onward. Very well done. But it's just, once again, when we look at these Viking stats, I'm sure they're going to be look looking good and everything's going to be looking good. And when you just look at the stats alone, I'm sure you're like, hey, this is a win or competitive game by the Vikings. But not really competitive in the sense that the Browns only put up 14 points. But offensively, big yikes. But let's start here with the, with the Browns because we saw another struggle here by Baker Mayfield. That's two games in a row that we've seen Baker Mayfield struggle. Uh, and that's not the greatest sign because we've been praising Kevin Stefanski on how he's calling the games to make Baker Mayfield look very successful. And he's been floundering these last two games. So not the greatest. But they've both resulted into wins. So can't knock it too much. Because they've got a great defense and a great running attack. They don't need Baker Mayfield to be the winner or loser single-handedly. So that's what this Browns team is, folks. They are a, truly one of the most complete teams that there is in the NFL. Cowboys, Browns, Cardinals. Probably the top three most complete teams. Offense, defense, coaching, special teams, everything about them. So, that's hey, you can win by more than one way in this league, folks. But let's uh, talk about this Browns team. Here we go. Baker Mayfield goes 15 of 33. This is trash, folks. This is truly trash. 45% completion percentage. Absolutely abysmal. 155 yards, no touchdown, no pick. Running attack is obviously what carries the game. Carries the team, which we know. Nick Chubb, 21 carries for 100 yards. Kareem Hunt, 14 carries for 69 yards. Fantastic. So running back by committee right here, 35 total carries, where Derrick Henry just had 33 himself. So that's what we're talking about. Kevin Stefanski knows, hey, we just don't need to go and air out the ball every single time. We can have a healthy run balance, passing balanced attack. So once again, credit to Kevin Stefanski. They got 3-1 and one here. Fantastic. All right. Uh, let's see who Baker Mayfield was throwing to. We got Rashad Higgins, four receptions for 63 yards. OBJ, two receptions, 27 yards. David Njoku, two receptions, 17 yards. Kareem Hunt, two receptions, 17 yards. Uh, Demetric Felton, two receptions for 12 yards. Austin Hooper, one reception for 11 yards. So we obviously see Baker Mayfield wasn't kind of slinging this ball around, barely going to anybody, nobody really scoring, and they had to kind of settle for two field goals into this game. So, um, you know, not getting it done consistently. Baker Mayfield not getting it done consistently. Now, lucky for this Browns team, they didn't turn over the ball, so that was fantastic. Uh, they just kind of win by the defense. Let's see how many sacks this defense had. Uh, we got uh, Miles Garrett, only a half a sack this time. You know, we all know we had four and a half last week. So there's a half a sack. We get another half a sack, so a full sack, another sack. They only had two sacks on Kirk Cousins, so geez, let's just see what happened here by the Vikings. Let's see if we get any interesting things on these stats here. So here we go. Kirk Cousins throws 20 of 38. This is trash as well. 20 of 38, 52% completion percentage. Absolutely trash. Only 203 yards, so not slinging it around. One touchdown, one interception. The touchdown came on the first drive. Let's see where this interception came. Interception came in the fourth quarter. Uh, you know, six minutes left, only down seven. Clutch it up, and he can't. And that's what we know. This Vikings team is not clutch. And uh, they turn over the ball at the worst time. And once again, we see that here as well. So it's just this Vikings team, folks. They don't show us anything impressive. If you just look at their stats, you would say that Kirk Cousins is one of the top ten best quarterbacks in the league and if you just look at Delvin Cook stats you're probably like yeah this is one of the top running backs in the league but they don't produce any wins and once again this Minnesota Vikings team eludes us we don't know what they are they're the biggest anomaly in sports and once again they show it this week as well only putting up seven points and uh, only only giving up 14 how do you lose this game at home we still don't understand it 
Delvin Cook, nine carries for 34 yards. Alexander Madison didn't do as good as he did last week. Ten carries for 20 yards, two yards a carry. That's nothing we like here. I see who Kirk Cousins was throwing the ball to. Justin Jefferson, six receptions for 84 yards and a touchdown. Adam Thielen, three receptions, 46 yards. K.J. Osborne, three receptions, 26 yards. Tyler Conklin, four receptions, 18 yards. So just nobody was getting it done. They weren't moving the ball. Three and outs, turnover on downs. Three and outs again. Three and outs. Three and outs. Eight plays, 51 yards. That ends in a punt. How do you move the ball 51 yards and still punt the ball? Unfortunate. And then the interceptions. Then three and outs outs and just never getting it done so Kirk Cousins is not good we don't think he's good he's got great stats I can't deny it if you just look at this man's stats they are great but they're one and three he just put up seven points at home only getting sacked twice I mean what are we doing out here so Browns they win a dogfight out here no pun intended 14 to 7 